What do you think about the thought that if you were targeting to everyone, then you were targeting to no one? One more time, I apologize. What do you think about the thought that if you were targeting to everyone, then you were targeting to no one? Um, I think it's a really, really, really interesting point. Here's the difference. I think that that's actually what's happening with, you know, with creative today. I would argue what she said is right because when you're talking once and you're trying to talk to everybody, inherently, you can only be relevant to a small percentage of the people that you paid to get in front of. When you go with the volume model up against a bunch of cohorts, you're actually talking to 12 different people. For example, Matt and Haley, I've, I've, let's use you, Matt, because we can go back and forth. There's seven different Matts. There's Matt that ABI knows. Then there's Matt in his personal relationships. Then there's the Matt with his single best friend crew, whether that was high school, college, right? Yeah, they're watching. <laughs> right? Then there's, and, and they're all different. And, the, and in those bubbles, you talk differently. You actually talk differently. Different slang, different stories. So I think the, I actually think the statement and the question's right. I think television commercial, like modern, what's considered today, branding, is trying to talk to everybody, thus talking to nobody. I think what I'm talking about is 25 Megan videos, 67 Dwayne Wade videos. And as you can imagine, that Megan video is gonna speak to a whole lot of women, you know, across the spectrum of women and a whole lot of compassionate men and a whole lot of Americans who are like, yeah, we do love these girls only one step. Like, that's crazy, that's bullshit. Like, and so that's one group. Guess what? The Dwayne Wade video talked to a whole nother group. Guess what? The, the big boy play for those Atlanta people, that talked to another group. So I think I'm trying to talk to everybody but talk to them in context. The way Matt talks to his buddies on a four day weekend in Vegas on a reunion versus when he comes back into the office Monday and there's a real different Matt in that boardroom. And that's exactly right. It's human, it's right. It's not, if Matt was talking the same way everywhere, he'd be fired, right? He'd probably have, you know, so he'd be super cool with his boys, but everything else would burn down to the ground. Or if he talked the same way to everybody, He'd have a great career, but his boys would have dropped him a long time ago because they don't care about his PowerPoint presentation, right? So that's context is the game.